Are your legs swollen due to venous insufficiency? Do you have venous ulcers that aren't healing? Now there is help in the convenient, easy to use ActiTouch Adaptive Compression Therapy from Tactile Medical. Physicians have found that the application of compression can minimize or even reverse the skin and vascular changes related to venous insufficiency and venous ulcers. Clinical studies have shown that combining intermittent pneumatic compression with sustained compression improves and accelerates healing, especially for patients who have ulcers resistant to healing, are unwilling or unable to wear compression bandage systems, and are immobile or have impaired calf muscle function. ActiTouch provides two important therapies in one device. It applies intermittent pneumatic compression to be used for an hour or two during the day when you are sitting or lying down, and also has the added benefit of portable sustained compression when you are up and about. Together, these two types of compression reduce swelling due to venous insufficiency and speed the healing of venous ulcers. ActiTouch consists of four components, a comfortable undersock that fits over your leg and under the device, a compression sleeve that goes over your foot and around your leg, a control unit that fits inside the sleeve, and a power adapter and charger. The compression sleeve has four chambers that inflate in sequence to apply pressure to your leg. The control unit continuously monitors and adjusts the air pressure to ensure that your leg is receiving the correct level of compression. ActiTouch is easy to use. Just follow these six easy steps. Step number one, charge the system. Before each daily use, make sure you fully charge the ActiTouch system for at least four hours overnight. Charging the system is easy. Just plug the power adapter and charger into the AC power outlet. You'll see a green light on the adapter charger. Then plug the adapter charger into the charging port on the control unit. The status indicator on top of the control unit will light up. If the indicator on the control unit flashes red, it means the battery is low and needs to be recharged. Step number two, put on the undersock. After your ActiTouch device has been charged, you can begin to use the therapy. First, put on the undersock so the word ActiTouch is on the top of your foot. You'll receive a supply of three undersocks with your system, which are machine washable. Step number three, put on the compression sleeve. Place your foot on the compression sleeve strap with the arrow, making sure the arrow is pointed toward your toes. Place the three straps on your foot in order, starting with number one, followed by number two, then three. Make sure the straps are comfortable. They don't have to be tight. Then lift the leg section of the compression sleeve over your shin and wrap the sleeve around your calf. The control unit should be on the front of your shin. Secure the sleeve with the hook and loop fasteners, making sure it is snug. You should now put on your shoes prior to starting the ActiTouch system. Step number four, turn on the treatment. Now you're ready to begin using the therapy. Your healthcare professional will instruct you on how long to wear the device in each mode to achieve the best results. To start and stop treatment, press the on-off button for at least two seconds. The device makes a humming sound when the chambers are filling or when it's checking to make sure it is applying the correct amount of compression. Make sure to stay seated while the sleeve inflates, about three and a half minutes. There's also a mute button for those times when you don't want the device to be heard. Simply press the mute button for two seconds. The control unit will make a subtle beeping sound. During this mode, the system will not check pressure. To deactivate the mute function, press the mute button for two seconds. If the mute function is not manually deactivated, the device will automatically switch back to sustained compression mode after two hours. Step number five, using the intermittent pneumatic compression mode. To activate the intermittent pneumatic compression mode from the sustained compression mode, insert the power adapter and charger into the charging port on the control unit and plug it into the AC power supply. The light on the charger should be green. Press and hold the on-off button for at least two seconds the intermittent pneumatic compression mode is now active. The device will remain in intermittent pneumatic compression mode for two hours and then will revert back to the sustained compression mode automatically. It is recommended you apply intermittent pneumatic compression at least a half hour at a time. You should be seated, reclining, or lying down when using intermittent pneumatic compression mode. Do not stand or walk. To switch back to sustained compression mode at any time, simply unplug the power adapter and charger from the control unit. 
Step number six, remove the ActiTouch. When you're ready to remove the compression sleeve, simply press and hold the on-off button for at least two seconds. The chambers will deflate and the device will turn off automatically. Then remove the sleeve and undersock. You'll find that ActiTouch is easy to use and fits nicely into your lifestyle. You can wear the compression sleeve under your normal clothing and remove it easily for bathing and sleeping. This means you can stay active while receiving the benefits of this unique dual compression therapy. ActiTouch is comfortable, safe, and effective. If your healthcare professional has determined that compression therapy is right for you, please consider the dual compression available only with ActiTouch Adaptive Compression Therapy. It will help lead you to the healing of your venous leg ulcer or improve the venous circulation in your leg. This means less pain and swelling for you and a return to the active lifestyle you deserve. If you are having trouble with your ActiTouch, there are a few simple things you can do that may correct the problem. First, plug the power cord into an AC outlet. You should see a green light on the adapter and charger. If there is no light, there is no power to your AC outlet and you should find a different outlet to use. If the light turns green when you plug it into a different outlet, you can proceed to check whether your control unit is charged. Charging the system is easy. Plug the adapter charger into the charging port on the control unit. The status indicator on top of the control unit will light up. If this indicator flashes red, it means the battery is low and needs to be recharged. It will take four hours to fully charge the ActiTouch system. After the four hours, the light on the control unit will be green and you can begin to use your system. Finally, if your ActiTouch system is turning off after only a few minutes or not fully inflating, Check to make sure your ActiTouch control unit and sleeve are fully connected. To confirm the connection, place the system on the table vertically and use the bottom of your palm to push the controller fully into the sleeve. You should hear a click. Try to use the therapy again. If you are still having problems, contact Tactile Medical at 866-435-3948.